Hi, I'm Jeff Bamberg and welcome to the Contemporary Steel String Guitar. This is the guitar we're making in this course and I'd like to tell you how it's different from a traditional guitar. The neck does not attach in the conventional manner. It's a bolt-on neck and the fingerboard flies above the top of the guitar rather than gluing. This gives us some very unique advantages. One is we get a nice level fingerboard playing surface. We're able to move the neck up and down to adjust action and it makes it very easy to be in two component parts for finishing and even travel if you found that necessary. It's been said, never trust a guitar without a belly. What that is referring to is a guitar that's been very responsive, generally was lighter braced and sometimes allowed the top to warp or the lower bout to sort of belly up. But what if you can make a guitar that was responsive but would not belly? I've been making guitars this way for most of two decades and my oldest guitars are showing really good longevity, they're not warping, and works really well. So what's different about that? Well, with the cantilever neck design, the fingerboard flies above the guitar and it has about a half of an inch elevation above the top surface. To accommodate that elevation, I've sloped the top or you might say I've introduced a belly into the guitar and now rather than the bridge trying to torque sideways, it actually sort of lifts into position. And also to help with that, my bracing is taller around the bridge area and thinner at the edges. The idea is the top can pump much like a drum head does. Here's a guitar I have in process with the neck and body detached so you can clearly see how this goes together. It's a mortise and tenon construction, nothing new to woodworking, but the difference here is that the holes where the bolts attach are ovalized, and that allows adjustment of the neck up and down, which creates this unique adjustability that the player themselves can do to adjust action. So no longer do you have to shave down a saddle to lower action, or in traditional design, steam loose this glued in joint and shave the back of the heel to set the neck back. So you never shave again. With that, let's get started building your guitar.